is disagreement tonight in Wisconsin over what the best solution is to put a stop to the gun violence. Democratic lawmakers are calling for gun control legislation, but gun rights advocates are pushing for more concealed carry licenses. Our Ro Schmidt sat down for a one-on-one -on -one with Attorney General Josh Call and explains what he wants and his reaction to it, Rose. Yeah, so we've seen gun control legislation introduced by Democrats before, but these proposals are unlikely to pass the Republican-controlled state legislature. And gun rights activists say these bills are not the best way to prevent future mass shootings. Attorney General Josh Call is echoing calls he made on his inauguration day. I'm hopeful that we will see uh, a red flag law passed and universal background checks here in Wisconsin. Call wants to see the legislature pass a red flag law, allowing family or law enforcement to petition a court to take away someone's firearms if they're a danger to themselves or others. President Trump announced Monday morning that he supports the idea. This is an issue that I agree with Donald Trump on now as of today. Um, this is this shouldn't be a partisan issue. This is about preventing these horrible tragedies from happening. Representative Melissa Sargent introduced red flag legislation in 2017 and plans to do so again this fall, along with a bill requiring universal background checks and one allowing people to remove themselves from the gun buy list. When states have passed these laws, we've actually been able to see um, a safer community for people to be in. But the head of the group Wisconsin Carry, Nick Clark, is calling President Trump's comments troubling and offers a different solution. If one person at that Walmart had had a gun to act in their own self-defense, they probably would have saved many, many lives. He encourages people to get concealed carry permits and learn how to protect themselves if they encounter a shooter. Democrats argue more guns does not keep people safe. But Clark says background checks and a red flag law would not have prevented the tragedies in Dayton and El Paso because passing laws won't prevent one person from shooting another. The day that we assigns the mental health police to decide who can and can't own a gun, we might as well walk over to the Smithsonian, pull out the Constitution and drop it in the shredder. Republicans Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald could not be reached for comment today on whether they would support these proposals. Roche Schmidt reporting. Rose, thank you.